Hey, Mad Dog here, the big dog at Scoot Dog Motorcycle Leather and Gear and Micro Dot Helmet Company. Hey, last uh, video we talked about the virtues of a Micro Dot Helmet and how it compared to the uh, other leaders' um, competition in the Micro Dot, quote, category of helmets. Here are a couple of helmets that I didn't show you before. Okay, we talked about the Micro Dot Helmet, and I, wanted, I told you that I had one that was fiberglass. This is the exact same helmet as I showed you. It comes in dull only. Of course, the, the blister itself comes in gloss and matte. This comes only in matte. It's fiberglass. The virtues of fiberglass, again, the ABS is a perfectly great helmet. It is a DOT helmet, certified helmet. The difference, ABS is a plastic. It's injection molded. It's a lot less expensive to manufacture. And when it dissipates the energy, it gives you a linear crack of a jagged edge linear crack and again that's what disperses the energy rather than keeping it going to your melon uh, fiberglass as we all know is a is a fabric it has to be laid out by hand they put a resin on it the resin is what gets hard and when this gets an impact it gives you a little soft spot much like a baby's uh, middle of a baby's head in other words it's the resin that cracks it's not the fiberglass the fabric stays in tight or intact and they get cracks in a circular fashion. Therefore, they say it gives a more even distribution of the energy, disperses it eat more evenly, and uh, it's supposed to be a little safer. So it's the next step up. Also, my opinion on carbon fiber, we've got a carbon fiber look helmet. It's, it's made out of fiberglass. It's really, really carbon fiber is a marketing ploy to get extract twice as much money out of the customer. It has absolutely no value. These are so lightweight now. It used to be carbon fiber when they first came out. They had a significant weight difference. Therefore, it made it, uh, it gave it a, a purpose. These are so lightweight now, the weight dis difference is minimal. And plus, yes, a stronger material, but it's a lot more costly material. And when you get in an impact with a motorcycle helmet, it's more of a blunt force trauma. It's not a piercing action like getting shot in the head. Okay, carbon fiber has got a benefit, but you ain't getting shot in the head. You're having your, the helmet hit slam into the asphalt or curb or whatever it is, a tree, and it's a blunt force trauma. The, fab, the fiberglass does not get pierced. Therefore, a fiberglass helmet, in my opinion, is as safe as a carbon fiber helmet at half the price. Okay, so the difference between the blister and the B180, and the B stands for blister, is fiberglass versus ABS. Now, we also didn't get a chance to talk about my Twister and my T360. Now, the Twister is the brother of the Blister, and we came up with the Twister first, and then when we came up with the Blister, we really had to come up, I wanted to come up with a name that rhymed, and I looked at that helmet hard enough, and I thought, you know what? When I was in the Army, I had blisters this big. And of course, blister rhymes with twister, and so that's how the blister name came about. And the twister, the reason why we call it the twister is because of this. It's a helmet that, of course, is an English riding style, or polo, or uh, there's other names for it. But you got a, a brim here, good for the sun. Of course, you love this quick release. I mean, everybody falls in love with the quick release. And uh, so, you know, usually in the morning sun, evening sun, that finds that sweet spot between your... Uh, uh, forehead and your sunglasses and you have to stick your hand up. Well, this gives you just enough of a working functional visor that it takes care of that problem. But most guys, a lot of people, like wearing it in this position, okay? So it gives you a very low profile look here, very low profile, gives you a very good look here, protects the back of your neck. Also, when you get caught in a rainstorm, it keeps the water from going down the back of your jacket or your vest. But this helmet here, although you can wear it forward or backwards, basically what we did, we took these anchor points, we repositioned, usually on this style helmet, you got an anchor point that's way back here. Well, we engineered it to be more centered here, and so that gives you the same fit forward or backwards. Because when it was back here, and you put it on backwards, you put it in your field of vision, okay? So we cleared that up. And the way this really fits more, more conducive for an oval-shaped head, the blister in all styles, other manufacturer styles, is more your semi-oval head or a rounder shaped head, more conducive. Now that doesn't mean that an oval head can't wear a blister and a round head can't wear a twister. What happens though, it just, it changes the pressure points, okay? Where if you put a round head in an oval hole, you're gonna have pressure points left and right. You put a round head, I mean an oval head in a round hole, 
you're going to have pressure points front and back. Okay, so this is the twister. And again, we've also, we've taken all the, the, the features, I was telling you about the other three helmets, the good features uh, off of those helmets and incorporated them into our blister and the twister. Main being uh, quality-wise, it just looks so much nicer to have that uh, seam right there. Uh, as well as you got the nicer, adjustable, customizable strap, soft strap, and uh, what was the third thing? Oh, being, being lightweight, the strap, only the full, full liner. Okay, so that's what these things are, the twister. Now the T360, same helmet, fiberglass, much like the blister is ABS, and the 180 is fiberglass. Well, we the same thing here. The twister is ABS, the 360 is fiberglass. But one other unique difference. We put the DOT stamp on the brim side here. So for the guys who like wearing it backwards, yeah. Most guys are doing it this way. And it seems the ladies like it in the front. A lot of guys like it in the front as well. But the guys who want to, to wear this backwards, what that effectively does, it puts that DOT stamp here where it should normally be. And so the, even though it's a little safer helmet, these are 120, 119.99. These retail for 99. The determining factor really is, do you want to wear this helmet forward or backwards most often? If you're wearing it with the brim front most often, get the twister. If you wear it with the brim back most often, get the 360, okay? That's just the, 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 the thinking behind the two products. This one's very unique. There's only one other company that produces a helmet like this. This is 119 and on retail. These are 99, blisters and twisters are 99, 180s and, and 360s are, are 119. Um, I think that's probably about all the, the differences and the things that you need to know about it. Again, these will quickly become your number one profit center. And I, I, I swear to you, that is a fact. And because it's proven in uh, many places. And again, I did for three, a little over three years, I didn't even have it. I had standard DOT helmets. I started doing the, uh, the, the small lightweight DOT helmets and I mean, I've never looked back. And now over 90% of my business, closer to 95% of my business are these helmets. I still carry the, the, the full, Scoot Dog Motorcycle Weather and Gear Store. That's really more for my local market, the DFW market. I do not e-commerce any of that. There's too much competition. Uh, the, the material, the leather really is, is heavy. It's expensive to ship. And so I just deal with uh, on the helmets here. Now, again, I reserve the right for the Amazons, Ebays, online marketing. Uh, however, if you have a website that your company has and you advertise these on your website, it's more than happy to make that happen. We can get you registered with us. And, and if a customer, if you don't have a particular style and size in stock, you can order from me. I'm more than happy to drop ship them to you. Uh, the fee's nominal. Uh, so there's no reason and no excuse why you can't fit one of your customers in these one of these helmets, whether you have it in stock or not. So call me, 817 817- 276-9090. Uh, that's my personal cell number. Shoot me a text if you like. Or the store number is 817-478-0497. Uh, talk to me about it. Uh, no pressure. Look, I can't keep these in, these things in stock retail and wholesale, so uh, there's going to be no pressure involved. You don't understand. You don't see the value of this product in your store. Uh, I'm not going to, no matter how much I try to talk to you, you're not going to see it. If you can't see it on, 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 on your own. So, uh, but being a business owner, being somebody who's managing a store, being a, uh, uh, known of the profits and losses, what sells, what doesn't sell, uh, these, you make a major mistake if you choose not to carry this style helmet. And again, my name's been co-opted by the industry to, to describe this type of helmet these are. One inch polystyrene, weigh less than a bottle of water, and a quick release. If it has those three characteristics, it's a microdot helmet. Now. Best thing, I think, is buy the original Microdot Helmet Company brand because I incorporate the benefits of all the other, other, other uh, uh, manufacturers uh, for a, a, the same price as your least expensive ones. So give me a call, man. God bless, ride safe. I hope you see the, uh, the benefit. And uh, hey, see you later.